Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss a very important topic in pediatrics that is anthropometry. I know most of you find it very difficult due to a lot of values in anthropometry, but don't worry, I'll try to make it as easy as possible. So, what is anthropometry basically? The measurement of size and proportion of human body is called anthropometry, okay? So, what are the parameters we are knowing in anthropometry? First is the weight. Next is the length or height, okay? The third one is the head circumference followed by chest circumference, then mid upper arm circumference. Next is the upper segment, lower segment ratio that is USLS ratio. And the last one you may say BMI. Okay, so these are the parameters of anthropometry which I am going to detail you. Okay. So, starting with our first parameter, that is, I already mentioned, it is weight. So, basically, what is the, let's assume that the birth weight is 3 kg, okay? At birth, it's 3 kg. So, next, I will tell you, at 6 month, okay? Then, at 1 year, at 2 years, 3 years. So see, very easy student, don't worry. So at five to six months, what happens is the baby weight doubles, okay? So if it's three kg at birth, what will be the weight at five to six months? Obviously, it's going to be six kg, right? Next, at one year of age, the baby weight triples amounting to nine kg at one year, okay? Easy. Next, at true two years of age, the baby weight quadruples amounting to 12 kg okay next at three years you just multiply it with five so it will become how much it will become 15 kgs okay remember till this okay so at birth three kg six month double six kg one year triple nine kg two year it's getting four times so 12 kg three years it's just getting five times so 15 kg this much so by this only you will be able to remember okay so next is the something we know as which formula okay this is very important for weight calculation okay so there are basically three weights formula for weight calculation first one is below one year of age how you are going to put this or apply this formula you just remember x plus 9 by 2 okay so x is age in months okay so suppose let's assume that this baby is of suppose 7 month okay then how you are going to apply this formula so this will be 7 plus 9 by 2 so 9 16 by 2 it's amounting to be around 8 kg okay like this you are going to apply the formula clear next which formula is from 1 year to 6 years of age so this formula is 2x plus 8 okay here x is not age in months but age in years clear and finally above 7 years the formula is 7x minus 5 by 2. Here x is also age in years. Okay. So suppose let's assume the what is the what is going to be the weight of the child at 5 years of age. So you need to apply this formula at 5 years. So you see 2x plus 8 means 2 into 5 plus 8. This is amounting to 10 plus 8 equals to 18 kg clear so here you can write 18 kg and this will be around 21 kg so clear all of you this reformula if you are remembering for weight calculation this is going to be extremely easy for you okay next moving on to the next parameter that is i told you already length or height so why i'm saying that length or height not and height because length is something which you can measure below 
two years of age and height is something which you should measure above two years of age clear by which instrument you are going to measure the length students by infantometer clear and height is measured by stadiometer clear next what is the average length of a baby at birth this is you should remember 50 centimeter okay at six months of age just remember 65 centimeter at one year of age this is going to be 75 centimeter okay two years it's 90 centimeter three years just add five more centimeter makes it 95 centimeter and at four years it's going to be 100 centimeter okay so if you are not being able to remember all the values just remember at birth it's 50 centimeter okay one year voila you should remember 75 centimeter and if you're remembering at four years it's 100 centimeter this should suffice that's what i feel and next is once again you are having a formula for height calculation that is again the widths formula and don't worry we are having only one widths formula for height calculation okay and that is applied from two year to 12 years of age okay and what is that formula 6x plus 77 okay here also age x is age in years okay so if you are asked to you know calculate the height of a like suppose seven year old baby then you should make it six into seven plus 77 that will give you the height at seven years of age so clear all of you weight and height easy okay so next is our third parameter as i told you that is head circumference okay head circumference is measured generally by a non stretchable tape and by cross tape method okay and so what is the head circumference at birth at birth it is 34 centimeter okay next head circumference is going to increase by 2 centimeter per month for first 3 months okay so students 2 centimeter per month so what is the head circumference at 3 months of age so in that way 2 into 3 it makes it 6 so 34 plus 6 it is 40 centimeter clear easy next from 3 to 6 month it increases by 1 centimeter per month so this is from 3 to 6 month okay then what is the head circumference at six month of age so see 40 then you add one plus one plus one so three that makes it 43 centimeter at six month of age okay next the head circumference is going to increase by 0 0.5 centimeter per month for the rest of the six month that is six month to one year okay thus what is the head circumference at one year of age so again 0.5 per month so for six more months it's going to be three so it's 46 centimeter at one year of age so i think it's now getting easier for you yes no need to mug up all the values okay just apply these things okay so you will be able to draw right next is at then after one year it gradually increases okay students so just at two years it's gradually increasing to 48 centimeter okay and at around like four to five years it's coming to be around 50 centimeter okay what is the adult head circumference it's around 51 to 52 centimeter that's it clear so this is all about head circumference next is your next parameter and that is a very easy parameter that is you call it as chest circumference chest circumference is basically measured at the level of nipples okay at mid inspiration clear so what is the value of chest circumference very easy chest circumference is lesser than head circumference at birth by three centimeter okay then this is at birth okay next at one year of age chest circumference is going to be equal to head circumference clear 
and next after that after one year of age head circumference is going to exceed the chest circumference that's all about your chest circumference so easy next is your the fifth parameter that is mid upper arm circumference MUSC okay so there is a certain age where you measure when you measure mid upper arm circumference and that age is six month to five years of age only at this age you will be measuring mid upper arm circumference and what is the normal value it's around 16 to 17 centimeter okay any value below 13.5 centimeter is going to be abnormal okay and any value below 11.5 centimeter you should stamp it as severe malnutrition okay those who haven't done my malnutrition severe acute malnutrition class they should go through this okay so this is that's all about mid upper arm circumference okay your next parameter is upper segment lower segment ratio okay at birth this is going to be 1.7 is to 1 okay at one year of age it's going to be 1.5 is to 1 okay at three years it's going to be 1.3 is to 1 and at around nine years it's going to be 1 is to 1 and after that it's going to be 0 0.9 is to 1 just remember these few values okay you can remember that's good for you okay and so moving on to the last part of our lecture today that is our last parameter that is bmi so all of you are very much acquainted with bmi so what is that weight in kg by height in meter square that's it so students i feel this topic this video was quite helpful to you so we will again meet very soon with a lot more important topic. Thank you.